Billy, we have new polling that's showing Donald Trump is holding a major lead over his Republican primary rivals. But a lesser known candidate faring better than some of the more familiar names in the race. In this latest Fox News survey, Trump leads Florida Governor Ron DeSantis by 34 points, 56 percent to 22 percent. In third place at 5 percent is entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy. That is slightly better than the likes of Mike Pence, Tim Scott, and Nikki Haley, and, and others. In a separate question, though, 70% of Republicans say it is extremely important to nominate a candidate who can defeat President Joe Biden in a general election. That is 15 points higher than the number who say it's extremely important that a candidate shares their views. Meanwhile, new polling shows most Americans think Donald Trump broke the law with his mishandling of classified documents. In the latest AP and NORC Center poll, 53% of all adults say the former president's actions were illegal, while another 16% say they were unethical, but not a crime. Among Republicans, though, more than a quarter believe Trump did nothing wrong at all. 60% of Republicans also still view the former president favorably, while overall that figure sits at 33%. Uh, Jonathan Lemire, break down those numbers for you. It seems like in many ways Donald Trump has done a great job at desensitizing to the, the public to something that is extremely serious. Yeah, in terms of the Republican primary field, and we'll t I'll take the general election yeah. in a second, but right now, he's done a masterful job at this. He, he is, it is the same playbook he has used as a presidential candidate back in 2016, that he used as our most controversial president, one who got impeached twice, uh, and the subject of many other probes where it's all smokestream, it's all distraction, it's all trying to change the subject, it's all trying to change the little cable chyron on the screen below me, or using the powers of social media to do so, change the conversation and rallying his people to defend him, claiming this is all a witch hunt, suggesting that he is a stand-in for them and their interests, and that it is the deep state and the Democrats alike trying to bring them all down. And because he has conditioned his supporters with one lie after another after another, including, of course, the big lie about election fraud, Many of them simply believe him. And right now, he has whipped Republicans into a frenzy to have his back in this field. And he is trouncing more than doubling uh, the next highest contender there, Ron DeSantis. That said, Mika, this, of course, could be a very different story next year in a general election when he's competing for those independent swing voters, those suburban wimmer, women uh, in swing states, those voters who actually decide elections. It's simply hard to see any of them suddenly saying, I'm going to cast my ballot for Donald Trump uh, when I ignored him in 2020 because of all that's going on, including all these federal indictments. Donnie, you look back at that Fox poll, this race just isn't close right now. For all the hopes that have been placed upon Ron DeSantis, for people looking for a, a path away from Donald Trump, it's a 34-point spread. In this poll, we see it in state polling as well, Donald Trump just with massive leads. So these indictments may indeed, as this last one just did, help him in these polls. It may deepen his support among his strongest supporters who do buy in, as John said, to the narrative that he is the victim of a witch hunt, that Biden's Justice Department is out to get him, et cetera, et cetera. But you got to win a general election. As that second poll showed, they want somebody who can beat Joe Biden. Seventy percent of Republicans do. It, it, you look at a head-to-head -head matchup and it'll be close because all our elections are nationally are close now. But those suburban voters who turned on Donald Trump in 2020, even if they voted for him in 2016, you wouldn't think, from polling tells us, aren't going to suddenly flip back to him. A couple of thoughts. One of the things to talk about of why Trump is so, still dominating the field beyond the things that Trump, as we've talked about, is doing right for his base, it also is an indictment on, no pun intended, on Ron DeSantis, who's just a very unappealing guy. You know, he was the guy that was supposed to come forward, and he was going to be, you know, kind of the next answer. And he's just so unlikable. 
you know, the thing that Trump has going for him, I mean, we can't, I can't stand him, but he does have a charisma about him. He does, you, you know, where you lean in, where DeSantis comes on, you lean back. He's just ornery. He's just not stepping up to the moment. So that's number mm -hmm. one as far as why Trump is still dominating. His big, his big contender is coming up very, very short. We're not talking enough about that. As far as Trump in a general election, and, you know, you guys put up a poll earlier where in Pennsylvania, one of the swing states, he's actually beating Biden by a point, and obviously it's so early. I contend that I've talked about this a lot on the show, and to Jonathan's point, I don't see those voters that have left coming back. I, I don't see after two, possibly three indictments coming forward, after the insurrection, as we get closer to a general election, those tapes of those people scaling the walls at, 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 at the Capitol will start playing again and again and again. I don't see that voter that, that left him in 2020 coming back, holding their nose in 2024, especially against the good economy, although we're seeing the perception is not there. I don't see them coming back in general election either, but who the heck?